What is good, everybody? It's your boy Jay in the building. We is back again with another video. Alright, so you see the title of this video, man. We have Bethune Cookman 2023 football recruiting class. Kicking things off with Peyton Nero. Now, Peyton Nero is an incoming freshman coming from East Coast Prep, uh, hometown Folly, Alabama. Uh, DB, 5'1", 190 pounds. Check him out. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. See what we got. Oh, man. So, we're going to do we're gonna do a little bit of talking about, about Bethune coming after this. Mm. So we had coming from mm, another block. There's two blocks in this video. Okay. All right. Next up, we have Stephen Mosley. Uh, O line 6'4, 290 pounds. Uh, he's gonna be an incoming freshman coming from. Dillon High School, hometown Dillon, Florida. Let's check him out. Let's check him out for a little bit. Where he at? Okay, on, on the left side. Okay. Mmm. Pancake flat on the ground. Okay. That's a big boy. Okay. He's still running? Where he at? Now he's on the right. Now he's playing right guard. Pancake. He left guard. Mm. Okay. I like it. I see it. Now he now he right tackle. Okay. So he definitely uh he definitely able to move along the line. So that's that's a good sign. That's definitely a good sign. Mmm. Hell of a cut block. Hell of a chop block. Where we at? Mm, come here. Okay. Next up, we have Jaheem Gilliam. Now, uh, Jaheem here is uh will be an incoming freshman coming from Carroll City High School. Uh from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Now, uh, he's a 6'385 pound athlete, which means he played both receiver and uh, and cornerback. So let me see here. Um, I think what he saw, uh, he also had offers to Maryland and Marshall. So let's check him out for a little bit. Let's check him out. Okay. You go on defense. Come on, give me that. Get deep. Mmm. With the pass deflection. Mind you, he he's six three now. Uh oh. Good grab. I like that. Now, I don't know what um what position Bethune Cookman has him playing. So it, it is gonna be interesting to see where they put him at. Uh oh. Mm, okay. And next up we have Jalen Lewis. Now, Jalen Lewis is gonna be an incoming freshman coming from Booker T. Washington High School, um, hometown Pensacola, Florida. Uh, linebacker, 6'1", 205 pounds. Now, let me see here. I um, think this past season, his senior year, he finished off with 94 tackles. Uh, so, that's about average of uh, 9.4 tackles a game. Uh, he also had he also had 17 sacks and forced three fumbles and a fumble recovery. So, let's, 
go ahead and check him out really quickly. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Good job. Okay. I like those. We like those over here. Mmm. Aggressive. Okay. I like it. I like it. Mmm. Nice. Pull off the edge. Mmm. Beast the blocker. Give it to me. Where you at? Number seven. He lined up in the receiver stance. <laughs> Straight bull rush. Got to him. I like it. All right. And next up, we have Corey Turner the second. Now, uh, he's also going to be an incoming freshman coming from Trinity Leadership High School, hometown uh, Sedell Hill, Texas. Now, he's play now he's also an athlete a uh, corner and receiver 5 7 165 pounds so we gonna check him off a little bit mm. <laughs> okay where we at mm. just dog <laughs> okay we see the speed see the speed Oh no. Mm. Screen. Make a miss. Got it up. Going. Mm. Come here. So shifty. <laughs> Dog. Mm. Uh oh. Look at him. Mm. Going. Here we go. Bye. Psh. Out of there. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so we see the speed. Okay, so shoot. But Dude Cookman got some speed coming coming their way. Here we go. Pew! Gone. Come here. Yes, sir. We out. We out. We out. We out of there. All right. Next up, we have Jeremy Greaves. Now, uh, Jeremy Greaves is is going to be an incoming freshman coming from Clouston High School, hometown Clouston, Florida. Uh, defensive tackle or a DNN linebacker, 5'11", 215 pounds. Now, I'm just going a little more. Now, um, this past season, he finished with 103 tackles, 82 total tackles. That's, that's crazy. 82 total um, tackles. Also had 10 and a half tackles for loss with 13 sacks and three block kicks and a fumble. Check him out. Let's check him out. Check him out. Okay. Mm. Okay. Where we at with it? The camera is really shaky. Okay. Block setting, all that. Okay. Mm. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. God. Okay. Mm, come here. Y yeah, they can't hold him. That's a big boy right there. That's a big boy right there. Come on, come with it. Come with it. Whole stuffing. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Right. Next up, we have Dominique. Dominique Ponder. Now, uh, Dominique Ponder is going to be an incoming freshman coming from uh, Myrtle City Collegiate Academy. Now, with his story, now he started his high school career uh, going to Naples High, uh, High, where his hometown is 
Naples, Florida. Then he transferred to Carroll City, which was in uh, Opa Loca, Florida. And then recently, I think he finished off his high school career going to Myrtle Beach Collegiate Academy. Uh, now, he plays quarterback, 6'5", 205 pounds. Check him out. Let's check him out. Mm, that, that was a hell of a catch. Okay. Mm, come here. Pretty tall. Nice go. Mm, okay. Like that. All right. And next up, we have Jordan Johnson. Now, Jordan Johnson is a transfer from Northwest Mississippi Community College, uh, hometown to a uh, uh, Sedale Town, Georgia. Plays DB, six feet, hundred and eighty-five pounds. Let's check him out. Now, uh, at Sedale High School, before uh, going to a community college, he played both DB and receiver in high school, which was uh, Sedale Town High School. We're gonna check him out for a little bit. Hmm. Let me see. Hmm. Okay. And there he goes, that cornerback as well. Mm, picked off. Ooh, nice. Woo. Come on. Don't th don't throw it there. Oh, come here. Hmm. Man, give it to him. Uh. Dude, nice. He was nice on both sides with it. He was nice with it on both sides of the ball. Oh, uh, come here. Interception. Easy. Come here. Mm, nice grab. Mm. Hey, man, and next up, we have Traverius Hammond. Now, uh, uh, Traverius is a transfer from Missouri Valley College. Offensive lineman, 6'3", 265, uh, hometown, Decatur, Georgia. Let's check him out. Now, this is his highlights from uh, Columbia, from when he played at Columbia High School. Let's see where he at. Let's see, let's see where he's at. Come on, where is he? Okay. Right side. Okay. I'm liking it. Yo, they, yo, they take way too long to get the plays off. Like, like in highlight videos, you gotta get the play off like quick. Like, it gotta be quick. Can't prolong the plays. Come on. Right side, okay. All right, and next up we have Malik Stennett. Now, Malik is going to be an incoming freshman coming from uh, Desert Pines High School, hometown Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, linebacker, 6'1", 215 pounds. Now, um, in his last two seasons, he had a total of 124 tackles with nine sacks, two interceptions, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery, including his senior year when he had 73 total tackles and 56 of those were solo. So, let's check them out. Let's check them out. Mm. He, hunt, he on a hunt. Mm, what, what the force fumble? Okay. Where we at? Mm. That was a hell of a blitz. Hell of a blitz. I like that. Mm, got him. Give me those. Ooh, 
Come here. Yes, sir. Come on. Give me that. Ooh! We like those. We like those. We like those. We like those. Yes, sir. We like those. Uh-oh. Mmm. Damn, forced fumble on his way to the end zone. Come here. Mmm. All right, and next up, we have Nicholas Ross. Now, Nicholas Ross is going to be an incoming freshman coming from Tahapakilga High School, uh, hometown Kissimmee, Florida. Uh, played both receiver and cornerback, 6'1", 165 pounds. Now, on defense, he had five interceptions, six pass breakups, and, and two forced fumbles. And on offense... He had 67 catches for 893 yards and 12 touchdowns. So, let's check him out. Mm, come here. He did his thing on both offense and defense. Mm, give me that. Uh-uh. Okay. We like those. Now, uh, now, now, from what I saw, I think he had uh, a grandfather that... Uh, Actually played football for Bethune Cookman, so that's pretty dope. Think his name, uh, think his name Mickey Ross from what I saw. Mickey Ross. Hmm. You see, grad uh, graduated back in 1972. Okay, so. That uh, Bethune Cookman runs run, runs in his family. I like to keep it in the family. Right, and last but not least, we have quarterback Xavion Washington. Now, Xavion Washington is going to be an incoming freshman coming from Tampa Bay Tech High School, hometown Tampa Bay, Florida. Uh, this past season, he threw for over 2,400 yards and uh, 34 touchdowns. So, we're going to check him out. We're going to check him out, man. <sighs> man. Now, as this video plays, let's get to Bethune Cookman. And let me just say that I'm so glad that they don't have that Ed Reed situation hanging over their head as of right now you know uh look they were in the news for a good little minute man you know with everything that was going on on campus with ed reed and him going on a you know on an interview tour explaining his side of the story and it was just it, it was just one big mess for a few weeks it was just one big mess but you know they went and they got themselves a new head coach in Raymond Woody, in which he's a former uh, Bethune Cookman player, and I think they had recently just announced uh, his coaching staff. So he has a lot of new guys on his coaching staff, and I think I think Nick Collins is uh, is one of the guys on his coaching staff as well. You know what I'm saying? So that's gonna be interesting. Now, what I do want to see, and I do want to find out is, you know, since they came from the MEAC, they've been 2-9 and nine these last two seasons. You know, and especially since, look, when Bethune-Cookman was in the MEAC, they were a pretty good team. Like, I don't want people to see, you know, Bethune-Cookman with these 2-9 and nine seasons and... Let's not act like like they weren't good before this situation because Bethune Cookman was always a good team. You know, it was just these last two seasons, man, has been ugh, two and nine both times. So hopefully Bethune Cookman would get themselves together. You know, and I heard that they're supposed to have, you know, they're getting things ready for a practice field soon. So hopefully they get some things together over there. Hopefully they have a better squad this time around. And we're going to see what happens, man. But we're, we're going to see. 
you know, hopefully this team shows up this year. So it, it, it's definitely going to be interesting. And I can't wait to see when, you know, you know, uh, when their season starts, how they look. So it, it's definitely going to be interesting. So shout out to, you know, Coach Woody, you know, and, and a new coaching staff for, for Bethune-Cookman. It's going to be interesting. So I can't wait for it. 